Hi, and welcome to another Jarvis Walker Brands Fishing Tip. Today we're going to take a look at how to make that first step from bait fishing into lure fishing. And you'll be able to see how easy it is to enjoy what really is a thrilling way to catch fish. The gear we're using is an inexpensive setup, starting with the Jarvis Walker Bullseye Graphite Composite Rod. We've chosen Graphite Composite because it's lighter and more responsive than the traditional tubular fiberglass rods, which makes it easier to work those light lures all day long. A Graphite Composite's also a bit more robust and forgiving than the full graphite rods, so it's a good midpoint to start with before moving on to the full graphites as your experience grows. The reels we're using are the Jarvis Walker Pro Series and Power Reels, both in the 2000 size, which is plenty big enough for light estuary fishing. This small size is light and comfortable enough to cast all day and it holds ample line for fish such as flathead, brim and whiting. We've spooled the reel with six pound braid line. If you haven't used braid before, don't worry, it's easy to use and not that different to setting up with monofilament. You just need to tweak your knots a bit, which we'll cover a bit later on. So, we attach a length of leader or trace to the braid main line. Then we attach the lure to the end of that leader. Nice and simple, no swivels or terminal tackle needed. You'll notice that our leader comes all the way back and is wound onto the spool here. We've got about three meters of leader. Now we do that because we want to create an invisible gap between the lure and the braid line. Tying knots with braid line can be as complicated or as simple as you like. When you're first starting out, a good knot to use to tie your braid to your leader is a blood knot. Now I'm not going to lie, there are better knots out there, but they are a lot more complicated. So when you're first starting out, a blood knot is a good one to start with. If you're not sure how to tie a blood knot, check out YouTube, there's some great videos there. One thing to remember with braid line, when tying knots, double what the recommended requirement is. For example, on your monofilament, if it's six times wrapped, your braid is 12 times wrapped. As you can see, we've got a lot of lures here. You don't need this many when you're first starting out. Just make sure you have enough lures to cover the different depths that you're fishing in. If you're not sure what lures to use, speak to your local tackle store. Okay, casting lures is similar to casting baits. You want a short bit of line from the tip of your rod to the tip of your lure. Put your finger on the line, open the bail arm, point your rod where you want the lure to land, and then slowly bring your rod back to about two o'clock and then a short, sharp movement, letting the light rod tip do all the work for you. Close over, and then begin to retrieve your lure. When retrieving your lure, there's a few different ways to go about it. When targeting brim, flathead, tailor, best way to go about it, keep the tension on the line at all times, and then short twitches of the rod tip, like so and then a long pause of about five to 10 seconds. You'll notice that I'm continually winding on my reel. That's to keep up with the drift of the boat. Yep. Well, there you have it. Go get a couple of lures and give it a go. You'll see how much fun it can be. Here we go. So we've just snuck out the front of the estuary and I've thrown a blade out to a school of salmon with the Jarvis Walker bullseye rod and it is a lot of fun. Six pound braid and four pound leader, it's going to take me a little while to bring, bring it in. You gotta be really gentle when bringing them up as the hooks are really small. Ah! There we go. There we go. Our little brim blade that we've used. So there we have it. The Jarvis Walker Bullseye Rod with the Pro Series Reels. For any more information or fishing tips, head to jarviswalker.com.au.